easy to soar for the stars when the world seems intent on keeping you earthbound. When she started out, actor Mishka Patipal just couldn't get a part and then her luck turned as she explained to me. Kriya met up with Mishka near a Josie in a city landmark. While growing up, we've all dreamt of being a film star, seeing our name up in lights or living the glamorous life. And Mishka gets to live out that dream every single day. This Durban beauty has made a name for herself in the local entertainment industry for her talent and passion. Her career is on the rise and I'm going to get to know her a little bit better. Mishka took the lead female role in the 2010 South African movie White Gold which told the story of the indentured workers who came from India to work in the cane fields of the Natal colony. Since then, she's appeared on the big and small screens, as well as in a number of commercials. Hello, ladies. Hey, hey. Hi. How's it going? Super, super. Good. Looking great. Thank you. <laughs> Mishka, you must be the luckiest girl in the world. I mean, everyone dreams of being a film star. How did you get into it? I always knew that I wanted to be an actor from a very young age. But, I mean, my parents never wanted me to study acting, so it took a really long time for me to actually convince them to let me study acting. You worked with Oscar-nominated director Dal Root. What was that experience like? That experience was completely amazing. We worked on a TV series called Snake Park, which is in a second season now, and we actually shot that in Durban. But working with Daryl, he was so amazing. He gave me a lot of good advice about how to act for Hollywood. What was one of your favorite characters to play? I did The Dance. It was directed by Jayan Mudley, and I played a drug dealer in that movie, and that was amazing for me. Like I did like this dance. whole complete transformation. I wore brown contacts, bags under my eyes. So she was super hardcore, but uh, that was so amazing. You're currently an actress in Scheme Some. Tell us a little bit more about your character. Oh, well, I play Vanya and she's a Brazilian inmate. So yeah, that was difficult in the beginning. I've never done a Brazilian accent before. In fact, I don't even know what a Brazilian accent was. So I did a lot of research and yeah, I think I'm pulling it off. Vanya, what did we do wrong? Have you seen anything suspicious between Ulelo and Blazet Lali? She only calls him sweetie sometimes, why? You're a very busy lady and now you're rushing off to a photo shoot and I think I'm going to tag along. It's a photo shoot for a newspaper and yeah, we're just going to be catching some urban shots in Maboneng. Um, so it's got to do with press for the upcoming movie that I'm also doing and Scam Sam. proud Durban girl. What was it like growing up in Durban? Well, my dad is Indian and my mom is Malay. So it was a lot of fun growing up in my household. It was a mixture of cultures. We literally celebrate everything. Eid, Christmas, you name it. <laughs> so what would be a typical day in your life? Uh, it's basically like it, how it is today. I mean, I'm always in a rush off to some shoot or interview. But what I love to do is go to the gym and just try to unwind at the end of the day. Mishka has the kind of big-eyed beauty that doesn't need help from flattering lighting or post-shoot processing. But this hasn't made her arrogant. Between being on set and spending time with the family, Mishka still looks glamorous in front of the camera for some of South Africa's biggest companies and publications. I'm going to sneak in here whilst I have a chance. You're very confident and comfortable in front of the camera. Were you always this confident? No, I was actually a tomboy growing up. But I did my first modeling lesson at 14, and I honestly don't think it ever helped me because I still get so nervous. How do you prepare for a shoot? The hard work comes in when you're auditioning, even mm -hmm. for casting. Mm -hmm. For me, I will always do research for the product that I'm auditioning for mm -hmm. and make sure I'm dressed properly so that, you know, I, I get a higher chance of getting the job. Yeah. Mm. What advice would you give to anyone wanting to enter into this industry? I want to say never give up, but that's so cheesy. <laughs> but it's the truth though. I mean, last year I think I auditioned for maybe 50 commercials. Yeah. And I think I only booked like six. So it means just keep pushing at it. You have to because you face so much rejection in this industry. Mm -hmm. So what's next on the cards for you? You did mention a movie. <laughs> well, actually I actually have two movies coming out this year. But what I can say is they're both going to be at Diff. Um, and one of them is going to be really, really big. Before I go, 
I heard that you are amazing with accents and you have to give us one. Um, okay, let's see. <clears throat> I really think that my American accent is incredibly strong. I actually practice it every day because <laughs> I think as an actress, you never know if you're actually gonna get an audition for a Hollywood film. Well, thank you so much for letting me spend the day with you. It's been an amazing experience. Thank you. Good luck with your shoot. I'm gonna get out of here. Bye. Mishka is an adventure lover who loves to try new things. She puts her heart and soul into every project that she's part of. Her passion and dedication for her acting and modeling career is the reason why she'll become a formidable force in the future.